go ahead and find the integral for the following. So what we can do here is we can use a trig property. We can break sine cubic sine into sine squared x and sine of x. So sine squared of x becomes one minus cosine squared x. And we have our sine of x and we have our cosine of x. All right, so what we can do now is we can do a little conversion here. We can set u equal to cosine x. So we end up with one minus u squared over u, and then du, the derivative of sine of x is negative, cos or negative sine of x. So we integrate, we get, and since we can divide through, we get one over u minus u, because this just cancels this out to be one, and then negative du. So we can f flop these, so we end up with u minus one over u du. Okay, so when we integrate this finally, we end up with u squared over two, and then the integral of one over u, or u raised to negative one, is the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. Substitute back in for u, we used cosine of x, so we have, this is u squared over two, so it's the same thing as one half, cosine squared x, minus the natural log of cosine of x plus c. And that's it, okay. I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.